Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 19 of the Netherlands in EU4 1.37 Winds of Change. Now, it has been a hot minute since I last either recorded or uploaded um, one of these videos. Uh, my apologies for that. I've had a busy period. I've been focusing on some other projects as well. And the weather has just been too good, especially these past few days. So uh, I've been touching some grass as well. Uh, but rest assured, the series is not dead. We are definitely going to continue and I am still up for a world conquest. Um, I hope the frequency of these videos can increase starting now, but honestly, I'm not going to promise anything. Uh, I did have a quick look at what's going on. We're still fighting uh, these wars. We have uh, sent out our armies across Madagascar to take it back from the peasants, after which we will need to send it swiftly back to India so that uh, they don't get fully occupied again over here. Uh, we are also still fighting in Malacca. We have to keep a very close eye on this siege so that we can be the one that grabs... Um, Singapore and then over in West Africa we have the Benin War where our 9,000 Marines here are hiding behind a fort while we made a bunch of normal troops over here that we are going to have to uh, gather up and send over here um, the West Indies Company is helping us out but other than that the rest of our colonials are just hanging out in their own part of the world so let's go ahead and roll the time and Pay particular attention to this uh, siege over here. Oh, we lost an advisor and we got a uh, treasure fleet from New Westland, which is uh, per uh, Peru, I believe, or Chile. I don't know. Uh, let's get a level two. Is he Dutch? Yeah, production efficiency guy and upgrade him. Our income can easily manage that. They still have a 28% chance. Let's have a look at the rest. Uh, still gathering up. Alright. Peace offer from Doug Bond. Which we may be able to take actually. I do want to take Dahomey. But they won't accept yet. From Doug Bond. I'd be willing to take just one province actually um, no actually I want both of them let's make sure we don't roll too much time though without looking at um, Melaka over here another month has passed uh, these two can go to other provinces over here you are presumably going there and you are going there yep Right. The military power. Have these guys all gathered up yet? Not yet, but it won't be more than a couple of weeks. Oh, there we go. That's that taken care of. Let's go kill Malacca. Uh, our fleet is out here. We are going to fight their 22 galleys again. From what I recall, that's not much of a challenge. Yep, destroyed them. Ayutthaya is helping us out here against this uh, insane general of theirs. Which just died, I think. <laughs> Let's quickly head over there. Yeah, we got there first. Nice. So we should have both of these... What? How, what? How is Singapore? Unbelievable. Singapore is being sieged by Ayutthaya, not by us. Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Okay, we completed some missions, by the way. Let me have a look at those. I already saw that earlier. Um, okay, let's click that. Handling the stat holders complete. Then, finding the stats later. I still want to keep that mission for when we fight France or something. And we have two cores to make it, it looks like. We have to wait a bit. Alright, this army is all gathered up. 
and let's send them over to Benin. And then we'll have these guys meet up with them. And once they... Actually, let's take back Calabar first. And then we'll have our 9k with the general join them. As we're over here, get everyone over here ready to return to India. Uh, let's prepare you for a month. Or less, actually. We're going to go after their ships again immediately. Yeah. All right, you can peace out now, Ayutthaya. All right, capture two more ships, some of which I don't want, most notably the galleys. Let's upgrade what we can. Ooh, 38 ships. And let's get these guys back over here, where we can go ahead and siege our fort back, after which we will go to uh, Rune to siege down the Malaccan holdings over there. We also have a Sulu to kill. Hey, who the hell's that? Granada. Wow. Epic. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. Granada. So which boats are we upgrading here? The brigs mostly. Hmm. Lost the Siege of Dagbon. It's alright though. Actually, we... Oh, we got black flagged. Oh my god, so annoying. Uh, we can actually send these guys because they're marines. Gonna uh, land relatively quickly. Let's get another admiral. And have like eight of them. Combat width is 27, but almost 29, presumably. Go over there. I bet we can siege faster than they can. They even took the homie back. Unbelievable. Um, ooh. Well, we are doing a military idea group, so I'm going to choose only reform the army here. That will be helpful. Um, I'm going to wait, though, with taking that. And we are going to... No, not do a barrage. It's fine. Even if we lose this fort, it's no problem. Not a problem. All right. Uh, these guys, get you back together. Does none of you have a general? No, no generals over here. Denmark wants us to come in against Abenaki and Pekot in North America. Let's accept that. Our uh, vassals will take care of that. Let's make sure our main army... In Holland. Keeps drilling, though. That's pretty nice. Looks like the West Indies is probably gonna suffer a defeat here because they're so outnumbered. At least they made uh, our enemies give up the siege of Kumasi here. Well, they are doing pretty well. But those last-minute reinforcements always get you. Yeah. Pretty bad. Ooh, that's good. Any more manufactories I can build that are good? Oh, yeah. I built them all. Especially ivory. That will probably make us become the lead producer of ivory before too long. Looks like we traded land. Um, and looks like we are now also in a war in Europe. <laughs> Uh, we are just going to keep drilling, though, because I imagine this is kind of a nothing burger war. Yeah. Phenomenal. Lost a siege somewhere. Gurma. We are starting to build some marines back up. This is good. One more month, and then I'll send these guys back out to sea. To blockade Palembang. Great. We have a self-sustaining colony over here. Um, where do we send our next colony? To the Philippines, maybe? We are sending this forward to Malacca, yeah. Well, having the Philippines will be nice, but I actually also really want the Andamans. Ooh, 
Mukapan separatists. Okay. We really need another army in East Africa, don't we? Let's get these guys over here to deal with it. Do we have the force limit for another army? We kind of do. Can we build a couple of these? There, that's fine. Uh, we cannot reduce autonomy while at war, sadly. Does Ayutthaya have anything approximating a fleet? They are... Uh, they have 41 boats. Alright, let's go take care of that. Siege of Benin still ongoing. There we go. Let's just make sure we quickly occupy all of Benin while we can. Let's hope we don't walk into an army in the fog of war here. But I kind of doubt it. Destroyed the Beninese fleet. And then set these guys back to protecting trade over here. Oh, over here. With their mission settings on any damage, yes. So they should go automatically repair and still make money. Are we also at war with that nation? No. Good. No army hiding in the shadows. Very nice. I really want Madura here. That will be useful. We literally traded land with uh, our enemies here. Again. Unbelievable. Let me look at the rebels. There's... Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Whoops. And this is why we play on speed too, ladies and gentlemen. This is done. Let's proceed to Fida, where we will gather up and then we'll go into this army, probably. Actually, we'll probably wait for the siege to finish, because otherwise they're going to come help us and give up the 35%. Which I would not appreciate. Okay, Denmark takes some stuff. Not the first flu. Abenaki. Floride, Floride is huge. We're going to have to uh, really go to war with France at some point. Luckily, they have quantity, but no quality. Neither do we, of course. And we have some quality with Plutocratic. And we have a mission we can pop. Okay, let's go straight into that army. See if Dahomey is down to peace out now. Yep. Great. Abomi. Suddenly called. They are running into Fog of War. Fine by me, but I'm catching some of them. Maybe all of them. Oh no, just a seven. Good. Puro, okay, good. What did I declare this war for? Melaka itself, yeah. That's gonna go straight to Ayutthaya. So there's not gonna be a war goal anymore. Uh, make another core, yep. Yeah. Only 45% overextension so far. So that's actually fine. Oh yeah, we need to get these guys over. Let's get them here. Alright. I want to build some forts on Madagascar. Oh, this is a really good one. Uh, but I cannot build there. Hmm... Okay, I do need to put in some quite some points to dev, but it's, I think, worth it. Yep. Alright, let's build the fort. And then, there's another province over here that has every single other province. The only one that is not going to be covered by a fort is Antsalova. Um, but I'm absolutely fine with that. So. We could build another fort there, I suppose. It's not like uh, we cannot afford it. <laughs> Pun not intended. Yeah, I'll just build a fort there as well. Then all of Madagascar will be covered by forts. That will make it a lot less tedious to siege everything back if um, we get more rebels over here. Okay, Lubeck growing ever larger. Austria is right in the middle of them though. Which is uh, pretty gross, I would say. Yeah, let's get that province back and then finally head back to India, hopefully. I'm going to build another army over here in um, South Africa. Southeast Africa. 
because I need a separate one for India, I think. Do -do 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 -do. Doing this manually, don't know why, but... Uh, 29, and then I'll build three cannons. Wonder how many of these units are going to get killed by some of these separatists spawning in the middle of them, but uh, we shall have to see. Finally, almost done with Palembang. Or positive, at least, in the war uh, siege chance. Cannot believe my new competitors are Norway and Granada over here. Also, shit. Uh, this is just peasants. Just peasants. Okay, well, I can live with that. It's gonna prevent me from seizing land, though. Which I do need to do one more time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. They did spawn on a fort. Uh, let's get siege ability. Oh. Lubeck finished their war, I believe. We'll get rid of these guys, and then we'll finally really go to India, I promise. It's going to be Palembang separatists. Very soon. Right there on that island. Alright, they're done for. Let's head to India. To this one province we do actually control. And then we're not leaving anymore. Okay, we got most of these ready. Is there unrest over here? There is. These are the Sofalan separatists. Are they anywhere close to spawning? No, not close enough, so that's good. Okay, we finished Dagbon. Let's go straight to the Fog of War. Ah, we'll have to wait. It's going to be tedious. Uh, we have three colonists available. I say we plug this hole over here. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, we'll send one here. We'll send one here. And just for good measure, we'll send one here. So Just so I don't have to conquer that later off of someone. Uh, sure. Yearly prestige is always good. Ships are almost in India. Let's go see if we can stop them from winning this siege. Uh, we do have a shit general. But uh, technology should help us out. Let's look at the quality. Yeah, we have more tactics and way more morale. There's the Palembang separatists. They actually spawned on top of my army. Which I can live with. We need a new general over here. As well. How do we have military access? We need a conquistador, actually. So let's get the conquistador in India. Let's walk to bloody Delhi. I'm done. We'll siege Delhi itself down. Um, then we'll, uh, we can use another general over here. Should be fine. How's my... Army over here doing. Let's get all selected. And over here. Unite what's already there. These guys can also go, yeah. Uh, get some fetishist zealots. Mostly in West Africa. Good. We are at war with you, right? Oh, the, the fort. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Let's go quickly siege this province then. Ambon is self-sustaining, so we have another colonist available. Let's start claiming Borneo. Actually, we're at war there. Huh? Mm. Let's start claiming... Let's start sending stuff to Australia. Shall we? It's really annoying to colonize Australia, because if a native moves onto this province before my colonist arrives, I have to resend it, and it takes 400 days. But uh, there are two provinces away from this one, so that's why I picked this one. But yeah, colonizing over here, it's fucking impossible. You see? There, they moved. Could have sent it there, and now suddenly it's surrounded. So one of these is bound to go into there, right? Um, almost impossible. Tasmania is a good place to start. And you can just attack them, of course. 
that helps. But it's annoying to have to do that yourself without having a colonial nation to do it for you. Man. Can you finally please win the siege? Please? No. Of course not. Of course not. Let's unite what's here. Oh. Alright, now we should be able to move into Zazao. Yes. Let's see how our Indian expedition is going. I'm going to walk all the way to your land, Delhi, and I'm going to siege you down. Oh, your land is actually huge. It starts here already. You might run into a fort or two. We'll have to siege our way through. Aha, uh -huh, Jai Salmer. Let's go through their actual land. The Timurids are extremely weak. Sindh looks like a ripe next target as well. Do you have any big allies? Just the Timurids in Gujarat. We have a call for peace against Benin. Okay, interesting. Let's annex Dagbom. Thank you. Let's annex Padangurma. Thank you. Let's score that all up. Now we're just getting ready for Zazao. And then uh, we'll fully annex the rest of Benin. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. It's fine. Because uh, a bunch of cores are pretty close to finishing already. So we'll have some more breathing room. Especially since these are some of the highest dev provinces. Still sieging down Palembang. Very annoying. Did I turn on, like, a defensive edict or something? It's not a state, right? No. Yeah. Weird. And uh, is there anywhere you do have... Supply limit, probably there, will do. Actually, you just need a general and then you'll be fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think now we do take the idea because we're still ahead of time. We should have, like, insane morale of armies now because we have the 20% from that event as well. So let's check that out in the ledger. Shall we? Who has the highest morale in the world? We do. Hell yeah. Looming disaster, religious turmoil. Again? Ugh. We need to add this all to trade company stuff. Um, yeah. And then here also. Yeah. That should help. Yeah, it's gone. Right? Benin actually walking around down there again. Slightly annoying. Ooh, feel very good. Workshops. Oh, and the clubs. Ooh, yeah, we've got to build plantations there as well. Ooh. Do I still have that coalition? Oh, yeah, I do. France. Whoever this is. And a bunch of very small African nations. And Indonesia, I suppose. And, oh, and Sindh. That's probably the only reason I didn't kill Sindh before yet. You could walk straight all the way to your capital, Delhi. You just want to leave. I will take that. Good. That means that uh, we can uh, probably just peace you out now. Finally. I thought this was supposed to be a really quick easy war that I didn't even have to do anything for. Let's go all the way back there. Now let's go to Benin. Oh, yeah, we're still waiting for the siege of Sazao. Malacca is still going to take a bit longer. Because these guys are just wildly incompetent, apparently. Start building some extra normal troops. So many rebels all over the world. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, Benin. <laughs> Ceuta is occupied by Benin. Forgot about that. Hmm, Pasai Separatists. Great. Can you finish this damn siege? Unbelievable. Ah, Sint left the coalition. What a timing. And Timurids won't help you, just Malwa. And Malwa, I was scared of because... I don't know why. I thought they had more allies or something. Oh, it was VJ that had a lot of um, big allies, right? Yeah, that's 100k. But that's, I think it's mostly just them. 
13 mil tech is pretty good though. That's is that better than yeah, that's the same as me. Sind has 13. Mawa has 12. I'll wait at least until I have tech 14. Oh, a four siege general. That's exactly what we need in Palembang. Beautiful. We won the siege of Sazau. That was a lot quicker than uh, the other one. Hey. So siege him down. Looks like uh, New Holland also arrived. Are we gonna go straight in on Sind? 41k in Malwa. Ah! Right as the general arrives, we in instantly win the siege. Okay, let's go. Now we're gonna do this quick. We're gonna go attach, and we're gonna go kill the rebels, and then we're gonna go to Sambas, I think. Alright. You go fix that. Rashkot is allied with only VJ. That would allow me to fight VJ with no allies. Pretty good. But they have compatibility, offensive ideas. Pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. And we just need this one final province sieged. We just got our 19th merchant. Where are we going to put that one? Well, we do have quite a lot of power in the Congo. And most of that money is going to some Sambesi right now. We also have quite a lot of power here. Ethiopia. Honestly, I think Timbuktu might be worth the most right now. Or Mexico. We don't have that much power in Mexico, though. Ohio, no. I'm just going to put it uh, right over here in Timbuktu. Okay. Zazao. Give me everything. Thank you. Benin. Give me everything. Thank you. Now we have a West Africa. All right. A big one. Go over there. Score everything up that we can. Not everything by a long shot, but still. Ooh, and now we have another trade company we can't add to because we haven't discovered the center. Okay. Bagonia, you can deal with your shit yourself, right? I don't even have an army here. Oh, yeah, I do. I have the free company. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll walk them south. Actually, you can actually just deal with it yourself. You are already on your way. Not my problem, then. Okay, this is done. Let's go to Sambas. Oh, Ayotaya made it to Malacca. Over here. No, oh, and over there. Maybe over here I can siege. Otherwise, we're going after Sulu. They have occupied quite a lot of my uh, land over here as well. Maybe we should go after Sulu first either way. Just let Ayutthaya do what it wants to do. And we'll take the leftovers, right? I don't want to kill Lubu as well. Um, looks like I'm fabricating on Sunda. So let's do that. All the big provinces, please. Um, that's already it, but next month we should be able to get another one. Sunda also has land over here. Okay, let's go after Lubu, who is allied to Banjar and Ternate. Okay, Ternate is also good to have. They have uh, more clubs. And since we are going after Sulu and taking it, we should also start building on Maguindano, I think. No. Flash uh, Blitzkrieg uh, the Philippines at some point. 
I think these ships are more likely to be necessary over in East Africa to funnel between uh, Madagascar and the mainland. The troops in India are just going to stay in India. Might need to build some more even. Can I do that there? Yeah, okay, good. It'd be really annoying if I could not. In fact, I'm going to build three more right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go back to fix this first. Rebels, rebels everywhere. All the time and all the year. Now, Granada, this is actually kind of a cuck. May have to fight the Morocco, Tunisia, Granada axis uh, before too long. Let's do the 35 dev first. Denmark starting another war in North America. Make sure this guy keeps drilling. Same actually for this guy and this guy. And why not this guy? All right, let's um, get this guy back. All right. Sure. Have a seat. Um, then we're going to go and uh, take this army back to Sulu again. Uh, yeah. I build uh, some really good manufacturers yet with gloves. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's make the rest of those ivory ones as well. Uh, make a slaves. Iron, tea, incense, very good stuff. Now we're going to go kick out Sulu, then we'll have most of our land unoccupied here automatically. After which, oh my god. After which we should be able to uh, take back the land over here pretty easily. By then, Ayutthaya should have pieced out Malacca. And yeah, should all be good. Oh god. France is taking over uh, the Zuni Federation. Yeah, France really is our main enemy. As of uh, right now. Oh, and they're going quality. Okay, we need to go uh, in on them soon. Who are their enemies? Austria. Do you want to be friend? No, they hate me. Even England is not rival to them. Okay. I'll wait until the end of the month for one reinforcement tick. Then we get Ashanti separatists, Imarina, fetishist, Portuguese, Siak. Yeah, okay. Siak, that's just gonna have to uh, happen. They'll probably spawn on that fort. So. Okay. Let's go. Another core complete. Producing dyes in Bonnie. Also, I need to make sure that I check out when New World Missions runs out again. Where is it? Oh, in 75, 29th of July. I think we got some rebels somewhere. Got my ledger. In the Cape. Okay, let's get down there. Or are you going to do it? Oh yeah, Suriname is going to do it. Great. Alright, now let's finally land on Sulu. And we have no debate. Let's get the settler one again, I guess. Oh, we could f get 47,000 sailors. Do I really need four colonists at this point? I don't think so, right? Let's get the sailors. Um, sure, four church power and zero republican tradition. <laughs> okay. That's some manpower right there. Very nice. Sure, we shift consolidate here. Malwa is in another war. 
Okay, yeah, now I'm going after Sindh for sure. And we're going to go for the province of... What's the highest dev here? We'll do... We'll do Tata. Tata, can we? Yeah. And we cannot co the Kucherba because they're in a coalition, but we can still murder them. So let's do Tata. All right. That's the next war. All our other fucking armies stop drilling again. Let's go straight on there, even though we have no morale. That's fine. You drill. You're about to get the Shanti Separatists anyway, so we'll leave you. Okay. Sulu has a level 1 fort. Very nice to see. And with that, the siege of Sulu having begun on the 20th of April, 1568. I'm going to leave this, this episode here for now. Probably a bit of a shorter one. Um, but yeah, I also don't have too much time and I do want to go touch some grass, actually. So um, we'll see you all in the next one, which will hopefully be uh, in a, like a, with a smaller gap in between than this one was with the last one, if that makes sense. You know what I mean. Anyway, until that one, uh, peace out.